Blake, Jeff, you are you are you've become over the last like four months the persona master. I am personified. You are perso you're Blake personified. Yes. Uh, well, you know great. how it starts. You come over here. Yeah. You start watching Rage Select. You play one game. You, th you think JRPGs are not for you, and then all of a sudden you've spent like 250 <laughs> hours of your fucking life in the past six months playing this fucking series. So yep. Jeff, I am ready for Persona Three. All and right. I'm so happy that you're like, hey man, yeah. Do you want to do Persona Three Reloaded on the yeah. show? And I was like, let's go. Yeah. So welcome back. I'm ready to the dojo. I'm Jeff. I'm Blake. Um, and yeah, Persona Three relo Reloaded, rem Remastered, Remonstered. Remixed up what? Oh, girl, wipe your face. Um, All the weeboos, let's go. It's it's out. Uh, I'm sure it's very controversial. It got a really high Metacritic score, but I know there's people that really like Why? old Persona Why? 3. Oh, controversial in the sense of like the content or like the way that they've updated such content? The, the way that they've updated it, because it's not like a direct one-to-one. -one. Like mm. it's like some stuff has been added. Like a, a lot of people, one of the big things, I'll point this out really early, was that there was a Persona 3 portable, a PSP yes. port of the game that lets you play at as either a guy or a woman as the main protagonist, and that's not a thing here. Okay. Uh, okay. Like, you can only play as the guy protagonist from the original Persona 3, and people are like, God, these... So he needs to take these guns away from these kids. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. So <laughs> Persona 3, the portable on the Vita, yeah. was probably the first time most people actually got to play Persona 3. Well, P right? PSP. PSP. Yeah, I'm sorry. PSP. Uh, Vita was 4. Was 4. Was with four. Golden. Uh, uh, well, I don't think so because it was a PS3 game. Uh, or a PS2 game originally. Okay, uh, okay. And like the PS2 had a really big JRPG catalog, so I'm sure that there were plenty of people who got into it on the PS2. So uh, we basically have two different audiences, right? Like, or essentially, like if you have one favoritism versus the other, yeah. And now you have a third option of said things with Persona 3 Reload. Well, but see, then the weird thing is they did this, but like last year, the year before, they literally put out like a remastered version of Persona 3, uh, like that was just taking all the original assets and up upping them to. 4K. So, man, I don't know. I'm I'm not even a that much of a Persona guy anymore because they're all fucking 200 hours long. So shame on you, Jeff. I know. I know. Dedicate your time. Look, look. Go to school. Look, Blake. <laughs> look. If I play a Persona game, that's going to cut into me playing Armored Core 6 for the eighth time, okay? I think you need to... Your priorities are out of whack, sir. You need to go back to school. There, are there giant robots here? I don't think I mean, there are. Yeah, there actually is. I think there's Secondly, regular pers size. Persona, regular they, personas size could be robots. <laughs> they can be. There kind of are. So, yeah, I'll take that to the death. Let's go. Go forth and live in the time given to you, even in these halcyon days of repose. I was actually thinking about how all these Japanese games are about, like, you being in school. But, like, actual <laughs> Japanese school, it's like... Like, you get out of school, you do club activities, you do cram school, you study until fucking midnight, you go to sleep for three hours, and then you get up and you go to, like, preschool, and then, uh, like, if it was an actual school simulator, you would be doing nothing but school. These kids have all this time to go into other dimensions and fight shit. Nah, man. That's also, not... and study and do well at right, school, right? Right, right, While the, the fucking weight of the world is on their shoulders. Right, and, like, eat hamburgers and go to, like, after-school clubs and stuff, <laughs> uh, go to that cafe. Oh, so, I don't know why our guy is dressed like he's He's in fucking Desperado. Like, he's got this little, like, bolt, like, this little tie thing. He looks like he should be carrying a giant, um, a giant guitar case full of machine guns, not a duffel bag. Uh-huh. So... Before I played this game, <laughs> uh, I had no clue you had no idea what the gun thing what was. The gun thing was. <laughs> Saw this scene and I was like, "Well, understand all the controversy." But I guess this wasn't such a big deal. Shit's real dark. I was like, "Okay, so in this one, they shoot themselves in the head to get the personas. In four and five, they rip their masks off their face to get the personas. And in four, um, it's they, like a card. They have like a card or something. Shit, I played like 70 hours of four. You would think you have, I, to, you have to you have to call your shadow self. You have to like give your shadow self a hug, and then like you can <laughs> just get a persona. It's like the most gentle of all of them. <laughs> and then five's like, no, we need the pain back. Yeah, we need bring to back the pain, rip baby. The skin right off your eyeballs in order to get your persona. You know what I like so much about this game is that I played a lot of four, played a lot of five, I played strikers, I played uh, Tactica, mm -hmm. did the whole nine yards. But yep. what I really enjoy about this specific game is that it takes all of the elements that you're playing with four and five, and it actually simplifies them. And I don't know if it's because it was the first of the, I guess, the 
series in the new era or whatever you want to call it but it actually feels like to me is that it has a lot of the bullshit removed right so you're you're basically now <laughs> going between <laughs> academics charm and courage yeah instead of like 15 or 15 fucking different like Stats. choices yeah yeah and it's much more truncated to go hey if you want to play it this way this is what you need to do and i feel like that's right. much more inviting to a oh, new shit. player the kool-aid party is over yeah Ooh, we got some got, murderous spree here got really rowdy kool-aid party got out marinara party got out of control and now uh, you get to move for the first time in 20 minutes. So I so I think that um, I think that what you're describing is just that this was a much more simple game, and that over the years they've added more and more and more bullshit to Persona. And now I've and gone th back. This is the like third game, and I'm like, oh shit, this is awesome. Right, like right. <laughs> because I played a whole bunch of this. I played a whole bunch of this so that we could get to a place where we could actually have combat. Because I knew that it wasn't going to be like mm -hmm. it was going to take a while. And then when I got to the combat, I was like, oh, this is Persona Four. Like, this is way closer to Persona yes, 4 that's true, it is. than it is to Persona 5, because Persona 5, even in the combat... It's a lot different. They had the guns, they had the... Okay, guys, you're supposed to bury the bodies. I don't know what your problem is. There's lots of vampires out here. Yeah, apparently. It's a vampire's paradise. That's what uh, Coolio was talking about. Um, I also think that <laughs> our guy's really taking this shit in stride. He's like, like uh, you know, this is yeah. just a Saturday night, yeah. and uh, <sighs> this is why you shouldn't drink and drink and uh, hang out in the coffins. Yep. Wait, where's his duffel bag? He had a big duffel bag before. He's just got a little smaller duffel bag. Okay. Um, yeah, I will say that uh, I felt a lot less stress in this game than I did in, in all of the other ones. Oh, they nerfed the hell out of it, apparently. Uh, because I, I, they sent me to a dungeon for the first time, and I went all the way until it blocked my progress yes. on the first day. And I was like, well, okay, how do I make the next thing happen? And it was like you wait for like twenty days. Yes, <laughs> like once you get to the top, like once you do that whole like, oh, you can just go to the next thing. You can tell that they've nerfed a lot of the um, the grinding in this if game because if you check the network stats a lot, yeah. you'll see that people immediately in the first day, like you just said, just go to the very top and what you can go to, and then you have like whatever your life to figure out until the next twenty days. So it's very inviting, like I said. But you know, you dump thirty hours in this game in one week, and you're like, oh god, I'm not even halfway through it. Like it's just <laughs> insanity how long it is because i think this is longer than it was originally i think this is about 70 to 80 hours from playthrough is what i've heard oh jesus uh what's our oh boy how, how about how about jesus jesus uh, oh uh christmas jesus christmas man G jesus christmas Chris jesus christmas times uh, Chris Mast. Sure. <laughs> Christ Mast. Jesus yes. Christ Mast. It's Christ Mast. <laughs> you got to watch out for that Jesus Christ Mast. That's uh, that's one holy boner right there. They take, the, guy, the kid looks at it and goes, this is a bullshit name, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a right. real name. This, this isn't your name, name at all. <laughs> you should go with something more mysterious, like Mysterious Boy. <laughs> yeah. Something no one can escape. It delivers us all to Who the Who put this end. poor Mysterious Boy? Is he in, like, he's in ch children's prison? They have to like uh, uh, make uh, drawings all day to send to like less fortunate kids. It's just like all of her twist the lost in the fucking Persona Wild and Darkness. No, hold my hand. Okay, cool. So I would be screaming right now, <laughs> be running away in fear. All, all, every Persona protagonist takes everything in stride. Like it doesn't matter. They have no big. Oh, uh, this is like. Nighttime, Yukari. You can pull a weird gun on me. <laughs> oh no! Don't shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> how, how threatening! Stop, or I'll shoot myself. Huh? The Here, just turn that to auto. There you go. All of the lights. It's gonna be nothing but dialogue. It's gonna be nothing but dialogue and a little bit of running back and forth. So, oh yeah, I forgot. You have to hit audio off. Auto. Yeah, there, there is a setting that you can actually I'm persist through. Oh yeah. God, I feel like I'm. Such I know. I, I tried to do that, but uh, by hitting the start button when I was playing this before, then I realized that's fast forward. So it just started like <laughs> <laughs> for everything. This is a swanky dorm. This is like a hotel. And we'll get, you get the smooth jazz on. God, the music in this game is so fucking hilarious. Armed ladies, got a bunch of ladies with with guns to greet you. When we're not in this whole like 
Midnight Error or whatever, when what we you? go back to the dorm, it, the the rap song is so bad. It's, oh. <laughs> yeah, just chilling in my room. It's like DJ Jazzy Jeff fucking came with the lyrics, dude. It's so bad. No, I love it. I love how bad it is. I know. I, uh, I agree. It's it's great to hear it, but it's just like, oh my God. Oh, it's not a real gun. Oh, it's like a it's like a squirt gun. <laughs> it's a Nerf gun. <laughs> it's Nerf or nothing, okay? Your things should already be there. I would hope they're not actually shooting himself in the head to be the shortest club entry ever. I think that uh, uh, the first part of this, I was like, these bitches working for Freddy Krueger, they're always telling me to go to bed. They're just like, go to bed, go, go to, to bed, bed, go to bed. I'm like, it's four o'clock. They're like, you must be tired. You got to go to bed, don't you? Here's your room. Never leave it. Bye. Yep. Easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Also, I can read numbers. I'm like, you know, a teenager. Uh, What's that contract for? Does that kid? Does that is that kid? Does that kid live what here? What do you got kids running here? With contracts. What are you about? Oh, so I'm the crazy one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love the dialogue at JRPGs about just like if you if you said that to me if you came to my house and you're like, hey, where's that kid that's always here? And I'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'd be like, I would be like, that's a funny joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I'm like, scared. Oh, what child? <laughs> Get going. Okay, yeah, you better get going. You also, get your uh, shit going. this is the most patriotic game I've ever played. Everyone's dressed in red, and all the UI is blue, and there's white accents all over the place. Like, <laughs> it's just like a M America game. All it needs is some stars and some stripes and some bald eagles. Bald eagle persona come out. I haven't gone that far, but there could be. Yeah, there could be. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and just never leave my room. Let's see. Rewinding. Oh, yeah. I do like that thing that there's like a rewind that takes have you like... Have you used that function? Because I have no, not. No. I, I think what it is is if you're like in a dungeon and you realize you've really fucked up, you can hit rewind and it'll take you back to like a week ago. before you went in there. Um, check the mirror. My reflection looks tired. My reflection it. looks tired. <laughs> Smack it around. My, every little... day my reflection looks tired. It's, a, it's not shaped like an Xbox. I don't want it. <laughs> um, you can check DLC. I don't have any DLC. Also, uh, whoever set up this room didn't bother to take like one second to make the bed. It doesn't take that long, you guys. You tucked it in and everything, but you didn't actually make it. Is it just the appearance of the ma like the making of the bed? Like it's literally just other people would look in your room. Like, do you make your own bed? I do make my own bed mm. because there's something that's really psychologically satisfying when you go to go to sleep about having like a really nicely like. Uh, a laid out bed and then you're like ah it's a brand new bed I mean you know I don't wash my sheets but once every three months <laughs> but I make that bed it's a brand new bed <laughs> a yeah. brand new bed good morning did you sleep okay I guess uh, I've been no <laughs> I saw a child that made me sign a contract oh wait a minute oh the, this song yes <laughs> uh Minding my biz, <laughs> chilling in my bed, <laughs> hanging out with my friends, and one of them's name's Fred. Like it's just the worst rap. He's ever. wearing it's like a it's like a an early two thousands MP three player, right? Uh -huh. Yes, that's what he's got. I think I I had the, it's like a hit clip or a hip clip or whatever. I had I bought one of those, one of the ones that looked like a pen. And it was a Sony one, and I like it cost me a shitload of money. And then when I brought it home, I realized that you had to re-encode all of your MP threes into this proprietary Sony format. And I was like, I'm out. Go fuck yourself. Give me Zune. I'll okay, take my creative, oh, there it is now. creative labs, one. Uh, but how can we monetize it? Why did they make a special island for this one school? <laughs> because it's Japan. They built an island. Blossoms. Yep. Did you ever okay. watch the anim animes of uh, Persona? I thought about it, but they, I mean, like, I, uh, a typical, uh, like, anime fan. It's, you know, I thought about watching that anime because well, I watched a lot, but. Uh, the Persona 5 one, I thought about it when I realized I was never going to finish it, but then the Persona 5 one has a really bad reputation. Like, it's supposed to be bad. Okay. I was like, What's eh. really weird is that on Crunchyroll, there's only season two available. Oh. So it's like season one, maybe they're just like, it was so bad. We are not going to put that on. I don't know. They're just, uh... They just uh, merged. They just shut down. They finally shut down Funimation, so it's possible it could have been split between the two. Because gotcha. Funimation used to have their own uh, streaming site with their own catalog and things that you should be able to keep. But you can't. your gun or the child or like what? What do you? What am I not supposed to mention? Just anything. Don't mention anything that makes it sound weird. <laughs> this whole place is weird. Even you're, this. You're the Greek god theater. Even this school is like weirdly different than all the other schools. Yeah, giant fucking columns and shit. 
Look around. My Weeboo Academia. Oy. All right. What do you guys got? What? What? What should I do? Go ask somebody about it. I have the worst teacher ever. How do you even know? Oh, there it is. Class F. Class homeroom teacher is... What? So this guy's got uh, a portrait and lines. He's probably important. She is older than me, but... Oh, is he the horn dog? I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. Yeah. No, the horn dog is Junpei, I believe. Or at least one of them. It's a post name. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. What the fucking... What? 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 What is this? <laughs> this is the queen and king of the school. Is that a sword that has school, little holes motherfucker. so you could put your hand through it? It looks like either the thing where you put your hand through it, like in brass knuckles, or like a butterfly long sword. I'm not sure this is real, shwick, Jeff. Shwick, shwick, shwick. It's very deceptive. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's a... I thought that might have been a cat, but it was a fire extinguisher. No respect. We're the teachers. We've lived longer than them, and that makes us better. Are they selling cigarettes back there? Uh, Cartons of cigarettes? Maybe like pencils? <laughs> I'd hope so. <laughs> Can I got a bag of smokes? I don't think... Um, I mean, people in Japan smoke like crazy. That's true. I think, that's like, very true. Eastern Europe rivals them in smoking, maybe? But... Listen closely. Oh, I love this teacher, by the way. <laughs> this dude right here comes to school fucking ham every day. Yep. Also, I love the coat. I love the checkered panel coat mm -hmm. and the fucking tie. Let's go. Oh, uh, who's this? A foreign exchange student? I Ooh, believe la, it's la. Bebe. I believe it's his name, y'all. Is he from I Italy? Germany? Uh, Spain? No. <laughs> I feel like he's a Japanese dude with a French accent, which is just not typical. Go in the faculty room. Let's get this fucking show on the road. All right. I think our guy might have too many pieces of flair on. I think he might be... Uh, uh, How many pieces of flair do you think the school requires? <laughs> I think it's no more than like two. Ah, Jesus Christ mass. <laughs> you're you're, you're uh, our lord and savior. You're our boner lord and savior, right? Wow. Uh, you've lived in a lot of different... Jerusalem, Bethlehem. Let's see. Oh, I hear you're the prophet of the Muslim religion. Uh, Let's talk about the guy who can't see properly because he's so damn close to his fucking <laughs> yeah, laptop what is screen. Dude, what is his problem? Dude, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 what? Do wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Ten years ago, your parents. I'm sorry. His, <laughs> par are his, his parents are dead? Wow, you live on parents. No parents. Oh, damn. I know that in five, the main character's parents, he like sent him to the city because he got all in trouble and shit. Correct. Yeah, he got And then uh, four's parents were still alive, right? Because he got sent to the country for a semester yeah, for a year. Yeah, the little girl's mom was the one that got run over by a car or whatever. Okay. I'll show you the way. So the other the other protagonists, they had live parents. I don't know anything about two or one. I've never fucking played two or one. What the hell? Is that an owl? Hoot. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Principal continues with the speech. Hey. What's up? You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? Yeah, yeah. you guys smashing. I saw you two walking together. <laughs> Are you smashing, bro? Jesus, are you smashing her? <laughs> Jesus Christ, mess, man. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, fucking leave me alone. Really? <laughs> oh, hey. I thought you might know. <laughs> I just love the idea that the first day of high school, you just walk with somebody in the school, and somebody's like, are you banging her? Are you, are like, you guys banging? You banging yeah, it out? and we're banging. You banging it up? She have a sister? <laughs> you can talk to her sister? She have a mom? Can I get her mom's number? Can God, dude, it's the mom? first day of school. I don't know where the fuck my class is. You're trying to tell me I'm fucking somebody. All right, listen, I set, up, set me up an orgy with her and her mom and her sister, okay? Just be, a, be cool, bro. You're going to get me in trouble? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Teacher. <laughs> Apparently. Keep your kids in line. Stop telling them about banging each other. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Junpei, man. This fucking guy. I do not I do not care for him. You don't like, like Junpei? I do not well, compared to the other <laughs> stupid friends in the other Persona games, <laughs> I he's like He's a stupid. He's, he's by far the dumbest character. He's your stupid bestie, but he also is just a dork. He's like the <laughs> dorkest dork of all. Isn't even. He's not like pretending to be a motorcycle guy. He's not a big pervo. He just has no redeeming qualities. He's got a chain wallet. Like he's got turquoise belt on. Okay. He's got a he turquoise hasn't even belt been to Arizona. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what Arizona is. 
He's really into Deadpool, apparently. Apparently, we're all into Deadpool. It's like Deadpool High School. <laughs> what is that? What are those things? Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. Oh. Here you go again. It's kind of weird in the background. The windows looks like a face with the two eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the things I notice when I'm not paying attention. I've already seen the dialogue before. I'm like, oh, what's around here? Well, it's it's okay. The weird thing about this is I didn't have any idea how, like, um. Ooh, it must be fate. Tell me about your sister. Oh, I don't have the courage? Oh. You don't have the courage, Jeff, to say that. Uh, what are you, wait, how am I supposed to get the courage? I've played this game for 20 minutes. Yeah, maybe new game a new plus? game. Oh. If it's fucking Sega, they'll put it behind Great. a DLC before the thing is. Yeah. Um, well, this isn't Sega. This isn't Sega. Well, it's Atlas, but it's owned by Sega, though. Is it? Yeah, Atlas is totally under Sega. Well, okay. What's up with that? Jesus, guys. Guys. I'm pretty sure, like, like a Dragon series and fucking uh, Persona are about the only two Sega franchises that are actually still worth it. Sonic's doing okay, but <laughs> everything else, very bad. I hate Sonic the Hedgehog so fucking much. I hate him so much. <laughs> you know, I hate not it. Excited about it. So I not hate excited it. about that new Knuckles movie. Hate, oh, it. Yeah. hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Knuckles uh, television. Give him a Knuckles sandwich. Six episode television show. Uh, Yukari, what do you want? Oh, what's Don't tell me you forgot. No, uh, I, the thing that struck me was that how apparently this franchise is like, because I played four and then I played five and I was like, oh, these two are pretty similar as far as like the the makeup of your friend group goes. Like yes. there's the like the stupid best friend and like the best girl and like, oh, here's a kind of a tough girl and here's like a, a tough dude. Uh, <laughs> and then I played this one and I was like, oh shit, here they are all are here they all are again. Look, it's Chie. Look, it's fucking it's like Raiju or whatever his name is. Ryuji from Ryuji. Uh, uh, four. Yeah, from four. Who's the guy in five? The blonde kid. Uh uh I kind of don't fucking remember. Okay, he's so remember. unforgettable. Yeah. But I like the the artist is my favorite one in five. Oh yeah. And Joker, of course. But you know what's the sad thing about this one is that I, I'm not a big fan of Teddy in the fourth one, but I do love Morgana. Oh, I hate Teddy. Ooh, I hate Teddy. There's no, there's no like little cute little whatever character in this. You're actually making a really good case for me to play through all this game and for it to be my favorite Persona game. I'm all just time, telling you, like they've removed a lot of the junk. Uh, Mor Mor Morgana got on my nerves, and I fucking just straight up loathe Teddy. I'm just like Jesus guy. <laughs> yeah, they dropped all of that. Stay shit. the hell away from me. They have you, that nerdy girl or whatever, like they have in five that like. Oh, there's like a there's like afar. a robot lady in yeah. this one, right? That's actually yeah, that comes later. Okay, um, but uh, they also have like the nerdy girl from afar that helps you out that doesn't actually fight or do anything. But like what's her face in five? The, yeah, the the, I the, her name. Um, the one that stayed at the what do they call him Hikikomori or whatever? Like the the hacker girl. Yeah. Uh, don't you be teaching Christ Mast Coon any <laughs> great good good. I'm glad that that's what I'm glad that's what we went with. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Oh, hello. Oh, this girl. Yeah, this girl's weird. Like you basically have to like freshen her up and see like oh let's go walk and then she just absolutely falls in love with you. Like, of course, for no fucking reason. You're the protagonist of a JRPG. <laughs> Everyone's in, Everybody's love in love with, love with you. you. Yeah. Half these people have faces and half of them just like don't or do they? Do they have faces? See, like, these people have no facial expressions. This lady actually has. She must be, like, important earnest student. She must be, like, a, a, a more established student. I was really, going to say developed, but that sounded wrong. <laughs> really more of an earnest Borgnine kind of guy. Yeah, get out of here. here. Yeah, let's skip school after it's Leave. done. Leave! is fucking... <laughs> it's like the, the entrance to the school. This is where billionaires go to school. Wee! There goes the track team. And look behind us. It's a, it's a, like a tough guy with funny colored hair. I'm sure he's definitely not going to be on our team. So as we're playing this, I do want to ask you. Yeah. Are you able to play a JRPG like this and then play another game on the side? I don't think in my gaming professionalism I can do that. I think I have to play one thing, specifically like this, and play it the whole way through. Uh, what will happen to me is uh, whatever the more engaging game is, I'll just uh, end up playing that more and more. Because this is all supposed to be like recreational and fun. Yes. So yes. I don't want to like force myself to play something that I'm not like super into. So whatever's more exciting is what I'll end up playing. But the problem is that um, I the you know JRPGs lengths are what's gotten to me recently. Of just like, is it is it really have to be that long? Does it really have to be like I've I've gotten into this thing where I've started uh, giving like just okay ninety minute movies like a pass. Uh -huh. And like, 
you know, just okay two hour movies, I actually think a lot less of because it's like, you fucking wasted 30 extra minutes of my time for that, whereas yeah. 90 minutes of just like, wow, that was like in and out, boom, 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 done, good to go. Two episodes of a TV show, good to go. Uh, I will say in, in this specific series, there are times when you're trying, like, there are moments where I'm like, man, I want to get back to the fucking tower, right? right? I want to get back to the fun, like, throwing the counters, throwing the elements, but I have to sit and wade through the whole dialogue after dialogue after dialogue. Wait, is that like same kid? Oh. It, it becomes a little much, and that's where I feel like it does a good job splitting that up to go. The time that you think that, then you're back in the tower, right? So, like, yeah, there was a, there the, the last RPG, I mean, okay, so the last RPGs that I, uh, like, I can't. I haven't had a good track record with JRPGs. I played that Sea of Stars. Yeah, you were telling me I need to. And, I need to check and that, that was like specifically a throwback back to when there was a lot less dialogue and things got to the point in video games. Sure. And so that really kept me going because every time we had a dialogue, it wasn't how was your first day at school. It was so like, much fluff. Yeah. Uh, and then I think the other one that I played last year was Baldur's Gate. Yeah. And Baldur's Gate is very good about like here's some action, here's some dialogue, here's some action, and also uh, the cutscenes in Baldur's Gate are a lot more engaging because they got like a professional person to like do them all right yes, so yes. they have like oh hi what are you doing uh just looking around but it's still it's just maybe you should go to bed see look go to bed it's go working, to for, bed. working for scary Terry over here it's still odd to me though how this game oh. really hits the niche for me because usually I would bounce off something that's it's just I don't know what it is it just literally just keeps going like, I think um I mean I think with persona like it doesn't really work for me because I've started to become a little bit more immune to the to specific uh, things in games like this. But I think Persona does have a an interesting loop of like, well, just one more day, right? Yep, just yep. one more day because it's delineated into days as opposed to like just making you play for hours and hours at a time. That's where like OCD, this, like just literally like, oh, I gotta get to the next day, get to the next. Day. Or you know, you you uh, you finish a dungeon, right? Yeah. Like last night, I was uh, I was I was playing for to get to where the. The tower is. I think I might have apathy syndrome. Um, <laughs> um, and it was like, oh, I finished the tower for the day. Oh, well, I have a shitload of money, so I definitely need to go check out the weapon shop to see if there's anything new that I can get. And it's like, oh, well, I got new weapons. Maybe I should go back to the tower to try them out. Or like, you know, oh, I, I just leveled up my my uh, relationship persona. with somebody. Oh, yeah. I need to go get some more personas so I can do a, a, a new uh, thing in the Velvet Room, right? So... Totally get it. I think that that's fair. And I also think what's really interesting in this game, too, is that you would go to the police to buy weapons. Right, right. Because they have too many. <laughs> <laughs> well, they also have swords and bows yeah. and, like, hey, armor. Kids. Like, body armor. Fight like, the good fight out there. We right. don't care. You, uh, don't eavesdrop. That's rude. It's about the bathroom. Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> it's also, I, I do think that, like, um... I really do think that there is something about the music in the Persona games that, like, really does Entran it. encapsulate you and entrance you. Yes. Um, because it's more engaging. It, it doesn't fade into the background, and so I think it gets you a little bit more just like, yeah, you're kind of bopping along, right? As opposed to when uh, you just have kind of a generic orchestral backing There's track. There's a cowbell in this song. And, like, th all this stuff, all these transitions, these super, like, fancy... You know, and it's got all this bright color stuff. It's very, it's very well put together. Yes. Um, and I think that that can, in a lot of ways, be good. The problem is that there, for me, I need the, my games to change, or I need the gameplay itself to be really um, engaging. Dynamic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like I actually just got to the end of that Suicide Squad kills the Justice League game. Like I played all the way through it because the combat was really fun, and it was like the it the the um sorry i skipped over all this I'm no you're good like, i can uh, tell you what the answer is the uh the hey. the missions were a little boring but the combat in those missions was fun and so it was like well the missions aren't all that interesting vivid carp vivid streamers, carp streamers what's a vivid carp streamer is that like what you take to like a bear birthday the, party it is the answer jeff oh <laughs> Jesus, I need help. <laughs> Give me the answer, Jesus. Jesus, help me. Jesus, take the pencil. Jesus, take the <laughs> Vivid carp streamers. You just reach in there and just wee. 
You know what's really funny? You know, I'm sorry, it's not funny, it's pathetic. Yeah. I cannot miss a question on these things. I will always go cheat. Oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. Go I'm like, I don't know what the hell you're asking me, so I'm well, clearly going to cheat. Part of it is the fact that, okay, part of that to me, uh, I, I, I did the exact same thing in Persona 4, which was the one I was like most <laughs> into. Um, you're just looking the answers up online because you're like, I don't want to miss it. There's well, no well, because you get stat points for it. Yeah, right. Like, like it's in, it's in uh, inviting you to do that. Because right. clearly, you're not gonna know what she said before that. Doesn't I mean maybe it does, but it doesn't really seem like to me it gives you the answer. So the the problem that I have, this is a problem that I will say every single Persona game that I've played has is this: is I want a fucking bar, not this. This just yeah, like, you got a point. Some, yeah, there's some ambiguousness of like, when is the next one gonna come? Right, I don't know. Like, right. when, how much? How much should I apply to courage? If I don't, like, right. You know because what I, well, by the time we got to the end game in four, and it was like, oh, I've got to upgrade my courage. So I guess I'm just gonna go eat this burger every fucking day, <laughs> like until I get enough courage to do whatever the jump off the bridge or whatever the fuck it was. Like, um, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah. Because you get to the end of these games, and it's like they give you enough time to do everything, but if you're even like slightly uh, conscientious and not fucking around, you'll have like maxed out a lot of stuff by the end of the game, and then it's like, oh well, so I need to max out this one stat, and then you just end up doing, I'm gonna go work at the fucking convenience store you know what's really over funny and over about and over the, again. The burger comment, and this one, you can actually do the burger thing immediately. God, that guy's so fucking creepy. It's just a, it's a round of three questions about how you're supposed to eat and like focus and all this shit. And if you do it right, you get the actual reward points. I think it's hilarious. Oh, and the, the rainy fourth, day burger. Yeah, and now the fourth and fifth one's like, nope, you don't have enough courage yet. You gotta keep eating. Right. Like, it doesn't, yep. it doesn't at all allow I, you to actually you, get through it. You failed to eat the fucking burger. Like, you failed to be a fat ass like the American you should be. <laughs> yeah. It's the only part in my life where I've just been like, screw you, video game. I'll eat that hamburger. I'll have two. <laughs> okay. This dude is so strange because he's like, he's on your side, but he looks like he's a corporate plant. So you're like, he, he looks like a creepy weirdo. And I think it's because like his outfit kind of looks like he's wearing a trench coat. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's like a third year or fourth year. I'm not. I, I don't remember. Exactly he looks like he's 45 years old. Yeah, he looks like, like he's 45. <laughs> Why are you here, 45 year old weird? He kind of looks like a dude that would insist on being a dungeon master. Like also, you're all gonna play a D and D. He's like, oh no, I'll be dungeon master. He makes these weird jokes, and then none of them are funny. But they're not like charmingly not funny. They're just like bad. They just, yeah, they come off as stupid. They're groaners. Also, I, I will also say that in this remake, one of the things that I uh, do find to criticize, especially in this area, is that everything is very sparse in this house. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. too big, and there's a lot of, like, empty space that I think they should have filled up. Like, they, they modeled a fucking power strip well, for the lamps and the I, th I think, and I agree, and I think it's because they're using the same cutscene environments as you would be playing, so they want enough space for you to just run around right. and not feel contained and you have a ton of space, but yes. Yeah, but they did a better job, and if I yeah, didn't feel If you can open, control the fucking camera angle, yeah. then you should be able to at least fulfill your, your I don't know, blank space. Like put some shit on this table, space. my man. Yeah. Like, put a little something on the table. Like, how many Persona creatures do you have, like, Put them all in the fucking game, right? Yeah. Look at Power World. Look at what they're doing. Put you know some, what I mean? Put put a Jack Frost doll on I the table. I would buy a Jack Frost plushie, Jeff, <laughs> if it were fucking available and not five hundred dollars because it's just niche. Like, I'm legi like legitimately, like Whoa. I feel like they have something with the personas. Uh, sorry, I just noticed that guy's got two pockets on his jacket. He <laughs> um, got four pockets. No, it's not. It's not. It's three pockets. It's your bad jokes. They're so bad. Mr. Tan Man. Just think Persona literally has the ability to be like, hey, this is your favorite Persona. Like, yeah. Jack Frost or get the fuck out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure you can find somebody on Etsy that'll make you one. Right? Yeah, but it's not like, readily available. Again, yeah. missed marketing opportunities. Yeah. So. Oh. This is the weirdest thing ever. They're this monitoring is, your sleep. This is where the dog controls Silent Hill, isn't it? Yeah. This, is, this is exactly like the same room where the where the dog is controlling Silent Hill. Yeah, it kind of does feel like a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode in yeah. a weird way. Do you think he's asleep? Yes. Well, let's wait and see. Oh well, fuck! How many things are you monitoring? What the hell is on the left hand side? Are you monitoring his like? I always want to know what those waves are. You seem like you're sleeping really yeah. weirdly, like. Uh, <laughs> 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 You know what it is? It's sleep ap apathy. I mean, it's sleep apathy. What are you? That might be a, the, as bad as that guy's. What are you guys all talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. 
All right, let's do it. This it sucks. sucks. <laughs> what are you, you sitting on the stoop listening to a radio? He's Stoop Kid. Uh, wha- where, what is this? Stoop Kid leaves the stoop. Is this where the cool kids... Oh, the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. Isn't that the guy from um, Animal Crossing? Isn't that the dog that plays the guitar in Animal Crossing? KJ? Oh, they, they, maybe. K... KK. K- KK <laughs> something. <laughs> KK something. Uh, I really hope it's not another letter. No, that. it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, is it midnight? It's time, Jeff. Uh, it's time. All right. Game time. I like the way that they're like, put all the clocks in the screen. And they're like, sir, there's only two kinds of clocks. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> put a sundial. Put like an hourglass. Like a stopwatch. There is a, what really tripped me out about what? The specific setup here with all these coffins. There is a Uh-oh. persona that is in a coffin, and it's a character. And I thought, I thought maybe all of those things would turn into that character, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's still to come. Rog. I have no idea. I. The problem is some of these games also they're so long that like I can't remember what actually happened at the end of Persona Four. It was so fucking long ago, and it was Persona so much Four like, probably has the worst ending, in my opinion, the worst ending uh, opportunities <laughs> of all of them. Yeah. Um, five was interesting because five had two attempts at it: the original release yeah, and the Royale. Uh, Royale, yes. <laughs> sure, like you do. Yeah. This must Super be, sleepy. Not so sleepy. Must be so set sleepy. before the internet because so otherwise uh, everyone would know about the turning into a coffin at midnight thing. Yeah. <laughs> Are they monitoring his fart levels here? Like, oh yeah. Should it be that chilly? Oh, you're asleep. You're asleep. <laughs> you're awake. Scary. Sir, he appears to be shitting himself. Should we wake him up? <laughs> Knowing as typical high schoolers, if he's just gonna like rub one out, are they gonna watch him do that too? Because that's a bit awkward. Spying on him like this. Yeah, exactly. You should feel bad. This is terrible <laughs> because you didn't even ask if it was okay. <laughs> yeah. See, this is a weird though too because the um, this is the only one that has like a there's like an organization that's doing the persona. Yeah, they're very organized with as it. opposed to like, it's oh, like the Avengers. Me and my buddies all go into the TV at the mall at midnight, or uh, me and my kid, or me and my buddies like jump into people's faces and steal their dreams. Uh, Hello, again, Igor. Much simplified in this. Uh, this game i just it was so weird seeing him here because i was like five did away with igor it was just the two that's jail it. kids like um yeah that's right yeah so i knew him from four you're in the back of a limo in four yes in the prison in five you're in elevator in three and you're also in uh, tactica you're in a like welding steampunk shop oh it's like a yeah like a medieval workshop yeah um okay also, I have no idea what the fuck is going on with Igor. Like, he's, he looks like such a psychotic... He looks like Mr. Burns lied as <laughs> Pinocchio. You know what I mean? Like, he's just fucking crazy. Yeah. He doesn't ever blink. His eyes are all bloodshot. But he's like, I'll do something really nice for you. And I'm like, I've never been asleep in my life. I, was, I don't know why he I, like I that, really but. expected him to be, like, the actual mastermind of the whatever was happening in 4 at the yeah. end. Yeah. Like, See, this is where this game makes little fucking leeway with what it actually has this guy could be the overall arching villain like, yep. and completely fuck you but they're just like no we'd rather leave him mysterious and not a part of anything at all well like, I wonder if he comes from Shin Megami Tensei I wonder if he like oh if, you know you're probably since right since it's a spinoff I wonder if Shin Megami Tensei actually explains who that guy is or maybe I've, Persona 1 or 2 I've never fucking even seen are those. those yeah it's like I don't even think those were those were like old gen consoles they're like, like PS1 um, and they were like like you had the little thing where your guys were lined up, like in an isometric thing, and then they yeah. would go and like fight the other guys. I, I don't know. The if best I can course of them. action is to sleep in class. Yeah, this one's weird too because I, it it doesn't really say that you'll get caught. Yeah, it's just like you have an option to be academic or courage. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually sleep in class because I'm already getting the courage up. After you build up the courage to do it once, you got to try it again. You get addicted to that class sleeping. Mr. Nasty old na- Mr. Nas- Mr. Nasty Mr. Old, Nasty Mr. Nasty if you're na- if you're Echo da Mr. Nasty old Kakata uh, okay early morning morning late morning super late morning uh, oh this guy the fucking kids don't listen anymore some uh, all about good old Japan through some truly exciting stories 
It's truly great stories. Exciting. All right. There was a moment, um, there's a teacher that's like a hippie that comes and talks about meditation. And actually, it was very insightful. <laughs> For yeah. like two minutes I was reading, I was like, oh, okay, that was interesting. Like, sometimes this game teaches you shit. It's very strange. Sleep. Sleep. Sleep through this guy's shit. Yeah. It's like a courage being tested. Also, like, that's some brazen ass sleeping. You're like one from the front, like middle yeah. row. Especially in Japan, they will fucking throw shit at you. Yeah. I mean, like, you could try sleeping in class. I can't do it. I snore like a motherfucker, so. I've never been able to sleep in class. I can't do the whole head down thing. I've never been able to, like, put one arm up and rest your head. It just... I can. I mm, sometimes I can sleep on a plane. Oh, that's or in the a hardest. Car. I don't know. I love how like drug use is uh, promoted when getting on a plane. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what are you taking to knock yourself out? Like, that's okay. People are all in favor of that. Like, what legitimately do you take to get knocked out on a plane? That explains why. Um, you know, like once the uh, pandemic started to lighten up and people started to do stuff again, everybody went psychotic on airplanes. And it was like, because I have this thing where I think that people used, to, like a friend of mine was like, we were flying to Vegas. And he was like, oh, are you going to get wasted before we get on the plane? I was like, dude, it's 10 a.m. And he was like, I don't give a shit. I'm having four beers before we get on the plane. I'm going to fucking conk out. And I was like, oh, that's what ha That's why people act like that. I think what's best about the during the pandemic and air travel, as long as you didn't get COVID and die, which would be terrible. Yeah. Uh, if you actually had, you know, wore the mask and stuff, you didn't actually talk that much. Sure. So people were quiet on flights. It was way, <laughs> way nicer. Way nicer. I still think that I, my favorite was that lady that was like, you remember that lady that came up to the front and was like getting off the plane? She was like, you all can do what you want, but that motherfucker doesn't exist. He doesn't exist back there. I love all of the memes that then cut to like whatever fucking random like Casper or whatever yeah. like person, like the person from fucking uh, 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 Fight Club. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Tyler, Tyler Durden. Yeah. yeah. Just oh. brilliant. I've never, I've never had the pleasure Ooh. of being on a flight. Actually, that's not true. I was on a flight where somebody almost got into a fight. It was very funny. I should go to bed. And it usually involves alcohol. <laughs> Strange, right? Uh, you know, because bars are such peaceful places. <laughs> and what's great is that, like, legitimately airfare can't exist without alcohol. Right. Like, they, I, I, could you be on a plane without the ability to serve alcohol? People would be rioting. They would they'd fucking go crazy. Because most people weren't. <laughs> I, was about to go, no, I was about to get real dark. I was about to get real dark. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going but there. Persona 3 does yep. shit to you, man. Let yep. me tell you. It reloads it. Yep. Um, let's see. Where are we at? We're going into the dreams. It's time. All right. Oh, this is actually where shit starts to pick up. <laughs> We're about to pick up here. <laughs> yeah, I believe this is where you go into the tower for the first time. No, 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 no. Uh, this is where you get your persona for the first time. Oh, that's uh, right. That's right. Because that dude shows up and he's oh. like, oh, I was chased by a persona and then I just brought it here. And unfortunately, I'm too messed up to fight it. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Yeah. Oh, don't look at him like that. I tell you what, you know what? Well, let's just get to that part. Uh, we're just going to roll through here because this is like. Jeff, I can't handle this, my the, brain. This is too much persona. Everyone's. <laughs> This guy comes back. He He's was fighting injured. personas. He led a, like a really scary persona back here. They're like, "Go get uh, Jesus and get out of here." And so you wake up and you're like, "Ah, let's find out." She comes in. She's like, "Wake up! We gotta get the fuck out of here." Welcome back to Rachel X Speed running a Persona Three Reload. Here's a sword just in case. So dun, 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 run dun, downstairs. Dun, dun. Oh the, no, the so it's everywhere. You guys gotta go up to the top floor where there's no escaping. And so you're like, we gotta go to safety. We gotta go to the top floor. <laughs> so you hold down the run button and fucking, yeah, let's go upstairs. Let's go. Don't, uh, oh, all right, don't worry, guys. I got it. Well, because next next episode we're gonna jump forward by like two hours, because they give you like one fight and then they make you fucking go to school and talk to I want people. Everybody, to, everybody, look at the date in the top right, and then for the next video, yep. look at the date in the top right and be like, yep. oh damn. Uh, actually, no, no, I can tell you this. I can tell you this because I was playing the game and I realized that the first date when you go into the dungeon is 420, bro. Yeah! <laughs> I, was I was like, like <laughs> I was like, is that 420? Is that 420? Yeah! <laughs> I, I looked up at the date. I was like, oh, ooh, shit. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sega Atlas is like, yo, we know for the homies. All right. Oh, no. And then what happens? Yeah. 
d- keep looking at the door because there's not anything else. I hate the green. I hate this fucking midnight hour green bullshit. Dude, what's weird is that... It's that, gross. I, it's all lime flavored. It's not relevant, but the Dragon Ball Z movie releases also have this weird greenish tint. Like, I don't know if it's a new thing. Yeah. Like, they, people love greenish tint. I think it's just they all have their own color scheme. And this one has, like, Pew. all color schemes, apparently. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I love this. This almost reminds me of Juju uh, Kaijutsun. Yeah. So the people, like, there's a lot of blood in coffins, but it... <laughs> also, like, I don't know why you have to try to shoot yourself in the face that way. Fuck. Put it to one side where you don't have to look down the barrel. Imagine Jesus, your character, <laughs> yeah. seeing this for the first time, where he's probably like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> the, the, monster's <laughs> like, like, the monster's just uh, like, all right. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, fuck, if you're going to kill yourself, well, here's the gun. Uh, cool. Do it. I like the way that you went to this it's door, but then this lady handed you a short sword. Wait. She Wait. has a gun. Here's a sword. Wait, hold on. I want to see if these kids die. I think he might die, and I want to see it if he does. Wait. He is the one. Oh. oh. Do it. There you go. <laughs> I mean, what's the most obvious thing that you would do when you pick up a gun and there's a monster right next to you? Imagine that the game just ends because <laughs> this is a real gun. Good lord. <laughs> Content warning. Jeez. Yeah, this reminds me of um, uh, in uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE. Hmm. Uh, the first time that you turn into like a Power Ranger and they do this little like th- the dragon pose. shit. They yeah. do like a Sentai pose, and I'm like, how did you guys know how to do that? Yeah, like, like, do they just quickly teach you that as you're you're doing the thing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I hate your legs. I hate your piston <laughs> legs. <laughs> I'm pretty We're sure you can get rid of this persona. Robot piston legs. Oh, yeah. You fuse him immediately. Fuse him immediately. It's like the one in uh, 4. Get rid of that shit. Well, what's weird is you, you summon him, but then he turns into a different one. Yeah. Like, it goes is kind from, of bizarre. It's like, it's just like, uh, no, just kidding. Yeah. Like, he goes from Orpheus into basically what was on the cover of the thumbnail for this game. So... Anyway, uh, yeah, while this is going on, we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Uh, like and subscribe. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Uh, did you play Persona 2? Did, I, does that explain where Igor comes from? Are you Persona 5? Are you a Persona 5? Are you Persona 5 Strikers? Are you Persona 5 Tactica? Uh, are you golden? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Uh, but no matter what you are, you should go to patreon.com forward slash rage like Helps out. Kick us a bucks, get some bonus videos in return. Um, a man and I are playing all the way through Alan Wake 2. We are in a real crazy place in that game. Mm-hmm. Um, blah, 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 blah. Also, you come to the Discord server. We've got our very own uh, Power World server. Oh, like play that. oh shit. I might have to get on, the, on that. On the PC. Um, and, uh, yeah, just a, a, great, a great community bonus videos, whole nine yards. And Rage Select gets to stay in business, which is like a bunch of different things that uh, you should totally do because I asked you to real Don't nice you style. like community? Yeah. Don't you want the community to keep going? Yeah. Yeah. Support. Don't you want the community movie to come out? You got to donate to Rage Select. Oh, there's uh, a movie? Shit. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you're doing a movie? Off of- <laughs> like, we're going to be fine too. Here. We're going to be fine too. When you're not over here, I'm going to be persona all this shit. Well, I'm not helping you make a movie. Yeah. Uh, Patreon.com slash Junk Food Cinema. Um, you can subscribe as well and uh, join our Discord community and uh, be a community, a part of everything, and we can all be personified. Yeah, there you go. You could, uh, Nope, I'm not even going to say that out loud. Persona join five. us back here tomorrow for another brand new video. Uh, we're gonna be in 420, right? We're actually gonna, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump forward to 420, bro, and then we're gonna start uh, uh, blasting fools, mainly ourselves. Uh, bye, everybody. Bye. bye.